Howdy folks, midweek shave this morning. Today's soap is going to be Vanule Poseidon. And as you can tell, this is a metal tin, so this one here has been around a moment. My Allen block I'm using today, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, complete with rubber band. I'm going to be using a aftershave balm. I have a small one here. And of course, I got Humphrey's Witch Hazel. I'm going to be using some beard oil, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, and that's the flavor. This is what I got whipped up so far. This is a, uh, uh, a sabachi bowl, I believe is what it's called. It's uh, a bowl that's got grooves in it that's been used to, like, maybe crush nuts up and whatnot. And uh, using an Omega bore hairbrush. And that's what it looks like inside there. It's got some really small grooves in there. And uh, this... Uh, this is a uh, whipped up uh, on the wet side, if you will, or moist. It's not. It's not a uh, a dry, thick lather. And I'm shaving with my uh, Feather Artist Club SS. You can kind of tell right through here. Slightly different than the DX. It's got the super blade in it. Really enjoy that blade. They have several different ones, so if you're interested in using one of those, that you might want to sample a few of the blades. I started with the Super. <laughs> I didn't really th give it much thought about uh, what kind of blade I was going to use. Just saw that one, got it. Then I saw another one. And uh, I've been, for me, the Super seemed to work well for me. It took, uh, in, the, in the beginning when I first started using that blade, it took a little while to kind of get used to the feel of it, but uh, that's because I wasn't even all that familiar with even an injector blade, a thicker blade. And uh, the more I started using them, the more I started to, I guess you might say, get a, a good feel for that particular blade. And for me, it works well. I like them. I like that shave head altogether. To me, it's just a for me, it was just, it was easy to find the angle, easy to use. It almost seemed natural uh, to use, if you will. <laughs> it's easy for me to maneuver it around my face, especially if I got my facial hair. With the Camisori style, it's just easier for me to use. Go ahead and get started here on the first pass. I normally only do uh, two passes, or two and a half, if you will. You might see me go across the green, or a stroke that will look like that but for most practical purposes it's just two passes one with the green and one against the green if you're one of those uh, folks that haven't tried Vanulay which I would understand because there's a lot of soap out there can't it's difficult to try them all This soap uh, is a creamy soap. Um, I have a few of hers. If you ever watched a uh, uh, video from Chris Bailey, he talks about like how much he has a way of you know Katie's bubbles or whatever. And says, I don't even have any of Katie's bubbles. And uh, it's not that I don't believe it's any good. It's just you can only buy so much soap. Never had an issue out of Vanulay, so. Um, yeah, it's been over a year ago. Not a, over a year, be, yeah, it's pretty close to a year. It'd be this time last year when I bought her soap. Been happy with it ever since. Haven't found one yet. That, in other words, 
nothing in the way of skin irritation or performance or anything like that. I haven't had any kind of those kind of issues. Since these uh, soaps are made in smaller batches, I think most of them have uh, perfected their their method. But it's just like anything else, you know. It's always possible to get one that just didn't turn out right, just like cars. But one of the things to me that does help is, uh, uh, as it goes for anybody that runs into an issue like that, most of these artisans respond in a responsible way. She's one of them, Monica. Um, I saw a wet shaver that made a suggestion on a, about concerning the website, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, if it wasn't that day, the very next day, but if I remember right, though, it was that day. Uh, it was a uh, she made uh, an adjustment to her website. I guess you might show in more uh, <clears throat> identifying the vegan soaps real easily, as opposed to a tallow or anything like that. For some, that was important to know, to be, to have it visible, just, I mean, just right out at a first glance, whether, if you're really interested into a vegan soap or whatever the case might be, that just at a glance at, at what you're looking at, you know whether it's vegan or not. For some, that's important. Especially if you're a person that's not wanting uh, tallow. I guess I'm not there yet. I'm more interested in the performance. And I get, you know, I've had vegan, I've got tallow, and, you know, I enjoy the performance of both of them, so... But for others, it is important to be able to distinguish that right off the bat because some feel that tallow just performs better, some believe. And some believe, don't want the tallow, which I understand. And for me, I think this reason why it's important to um, give the artisan a feed, the feedback that they're needing, honest feedback at that. It was a while back, um, a gentleman was uh, attempting to get started on his uh, soap making, and um, he had a few people try it, and um, and he had two different flavors, if I remember right. I think one was Barbershop and the other one, uh, if I remember right, the one I was supposed to have was supposed to be a fruit flavor. In other words, it had strawberry in it, and I can't remember what all the rest of the scent was supposed to be. But I know the scent was, uh, it was a strong scent. But boy, I didn't smell anything in the way of fruit. <laughs> and I had a hard time getting it to lather. Use different brushes, bowl lather, face lather. I just had a hard time. And um, uh, tried it again later. I still have it. And I'm, when I mean later, I mean, you know, a few months. And uh, lathered up just fine. So I'm kind of wondering, in that particular case... Uh, if it was more along the lines that the uh, 
soap hadn't had enough time to cure. Maybe the some of the ingredients was uh, uh, the that combination made it where you needed to set it, let let it cure longer than what might be typical for a soap. But the scent was nowhere near where it, it, what it was supposed to be. I even let the lid, lid off for a couple of weeks to see if the scent would calm down a little bit. Still got a you know, strong scent, whatever that is. It's a it's a strong scent. Pass number two. Even if you're not going to post in a uh, white shaving community or a forum, it sure is handy for information. Because anybody that's given their impressions, either first impressions or whatever the case might be, of the soap that they're using can give you some sort of insight, their experiences on how strong the scent may or may not be. And this particular soap doesn't have a strong scent, so if you're looking for something that's, you know, just way up in your nose, you know, as soon as you open and it stays there, I can smell the scent of the soap, but it's not a strong scent. So if you're concerned about if you wanted to use um, an aftershave, um, that maybe is not on the same note base that this one, this, this scent is, shouldn't be a problem. Not, not only that, does the soap, the scent, once I rinse the face, it's, it's gone anyway. In most cases. So for me, when I do mine, it's usually it's the uh, uh, whatever mood I'm in. If you see something that's kind of different, how I mix and match, I want that scent of soap when I'm shaving, but I want that aftershave, and the two may not pair in most people's opinions. That's just the way I am. <laughs> Just depends on what mood I'm in and what I'm going to do. It's kind of one of those deals where I have certain soaps that I, I haven't used in a while in my rotation. I want to use that soap and I really want to wear that aftershave. It's mine. So... That's how I roll with it. So for me, anything that's considered seasonal, it's year round for me. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, eggnog. I don't drink as much as I used to. Um, I guess like most folks, it's usually, not always, <clears throat> you get older and it's easier to gain weight. <laughs> so I don't drink near as much eggnog, but I like eggnog and really wish it wasn't seasonal. But it does have a lot of calories to it. When I was younger, much younger, um, I used to drink a quart of chocolate milk for breakfast. Used to be able to get by with that. Not so much anymore. I was single at the time. A uh, convenience store was... Uh, very close by, drop by there in the mornings, pick up a quart of chocolate milk, and drink it for breakfast. 
might consider that the good old days because yeah I can't drink that much milk anymore especially chocolate milk too many calories and my stomach pitches a fit If you want to call it lactose intolerant, but it's it's not quite that bad. But yeah, my stomach anymore. It didn't handle a whole lot of milk very well. I can still smell this. This soap has a. I don't know how to describe it. I'm not real good at describing some of these scents because some of them are a bit more complex than my my nose that only works part of the time sometimes I can't smell anything and then some days it's like I can smell everything but everything's pretty smooth up there don't feel like I got anything left over on the cheeks that I need to get done it's the reason why if you see sometimes I go a different way with my uh, strokes on my during my past is because I know which way I've got to go in order to get a, I guess you might say, a closer shave, a more efficient one. All right. I'm going to go ahead and break out the trusty Allen block, see how the shave went this morning. Kind of feel like I got a little bit too much pressure right there. And if you haven't tried this, you ought to try talking videotape while you're shaving. It does take a little while to get used to it. And I'm still trying to get used to it. I'm not sure what I did there. It's a good thing to have this in that case. Help make that heal a little bit quicker. Humphreys Witch Hazel. When it comes to what brand, it's whatever floats your boat. So far, the I do have a bottle of Thayer's. I have not tried it yet. It's aloe. And we're in the month of December, and I might be breaking it out here pretty soon because my skin during the winter months have a ten, more of a tendency to get dried out than what they do what it does during the summer. So that little added, added extra moisturizer might be handy to have this winter. It'll be my first go at trying Thayer's. But I've got Humphreys that I've tried. You can kind of see. I've used a wee bit of it. And um, compared to Dickinson that I've got at Walmart, I really can't tell the difference. At least I can't. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, aftershave balm on there. This is a, <clears throat> excuse me, this is not the full size. This is just an ounce bottle that you can get or you can get the full size one from her. Um, I've got a few of these that I uh, got from Monica and I didn't feel that I needed the uh, smells good the full size one I I don't know if I could use all of it in a I guess you might say in a timely manner I don't always in other words, if I shave with uh, that scented soap, that I always use this scented uh, balm, and that's the only time I use it. I, uh, for instance, I got some cedar that I may use with a uh, one that's got a note that's got cedar in it, lavender and cedar, for instance. You can kind of tell this stuff goes on pretty easy. It don't take a whole lot. Nice post-shave feel. It's one of the things I really like about her soap. Always get a nice post-shave feel. Face usually doesn't feel dried out or anything like that. Okay, let's go back over what I used this morning to shave. Vanulet, Soap of the Gods, Poseidon. Right along with uh, Aftershave Balm. Followed up with uh, Allen Block with a rubber band. Can't live without that wear rubber band. Humphrey's Witch Hazel, 
This was all whipped up with, uh, <laughs> still got plenty in there. This this brush holds a lot of soap. Mega boar hair brush. I think the model number is 10048 Professional. Something like that. Camisori style feather shave it. To me, I should have started with this from the get-go. At any rate, everybody stay safe. Smooth shaves till next time.